guys. I didn't expect to go on live for so long, but it's pretty amazing tonight. Oh, where's my other pen? Okay, gone missing. Wow, tonight's live is pretty amazing. Um, it's gone on for a very long time. You guys, thank you so much for being present, for sharing your art. Is there anyone else? I think there is that wants to share before we wind down the live tonight. I had to run to little girl's room. I just had to do it. <laughs> There's been so much water and spice rum that I've been uh, indulging in that I had to run to little girl's room. I think I will attempt to do a lot of more artful evenings. Um, truth Poetic, um, do you want to come in? I think it was you that said you wanted to come in. Thank you for the last poetic piece, Miss Sexy. You are always amazing. So who would like to come in? Let's get... Hi. How you doing? I'm good. You're kind of cute, right? Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you are very cute. Hello. Thank you. It's too kind. <laughs> <laughs> um, how are you feeling about tonight so far? What's your thoughts? I actually came in um, because Darkman Blues is my um, brother of mine, my mentor. Uh, he got me started writing my battery kind of. Okay, cool. Are you enjoying the live tonight? Are you enjoying so far, the live tonight, yes. Mister? Yes, and I'm liking the vibe. Excellent. So far, I'm enjoying it. Okay, so yeah. what are you wanting to share with us tonight? So, um, in keeping with the energy, yeah, that's not gonna work. I'll just move over here. Mm. All right, in keeping with the energy, um, people have been writing. Uh, doing a lot of romantic writing, mm -hmm. love poems. Um, I do have my daughter with me, so, and I don't normally get explicit or anything. All right, come but, on, um, take me to the edge. Take me to the edge, <laughs> please. So I've got uh, a couple I could share. If, if, oh, if, nice, okay. So, each lover a poem. Each lover is a poem written and rewritten on bed sheets, couch cushions, and sweat-stained walls, mm -hmm. read only in knowing glances. Each poem is a body, a collection of eager limbs and heartbeat. Each body is a fingerprint, subtle sequence of ridge and groove that twists and winds around itself with no apparent origin. Each fingerprint is a lover, and each lover a poem. And when the poem is a body scattered, a bloody birthing of scar tissue and hospital bracelet, sometimes greedy hands grow bodies and leave ligature for fingerprint upon a lover's poem. One piece. Mm. What inspired you to write that? I think I started off trying to write something sexy because I don't write a lot of sexy stuff. <laughs> and um, I got to the end of where I thought it was going to stop. And I still had stuff on my mind. Um, so I started writing about just relationship in general and just a sexy moment. And then that turns into having kids sometimes. Mm. And sometimes you you had that sexy moment with the wrong person oh they, yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> so there are consequences and oh boy having a child yes. can be a consequence and i like the circular pattern of this poem how it works its way back around I, do it, I did it again in the second half so the first half is how making that uh complete revolution during the nice. happy sexy moments is cool but then it comes back around 
once we're dealing with consequences. And yeah, now you've had a child with a pet. Sexy. When's the last time a woman told you how cute you was? <laughs> uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, um. <laughs> I mean, no, I, compliments are nice. You are too kind. I it was with me, and it didn't happen. So, yeah, I think you're so cute right now, though. Hey, like, guys, you already know, if you agree with me, Hearts in the love, hearts in the comments box. You already oh, know. Stop. Then you hate him because he's cute as hell. Hey, I appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> and it, and it, it, it's that much more. Um, it's that much more appreciated coming from a lovely woman. Absolutely, from London to US. That's amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing your art. Do you have another with us that you would like to share with us, or is that it for tonight? Sure. Sure, I do have another one. Um, Take me to the bridge, please, or at least the chorus. Do it. <laughs> All right. Um, this is a slightly longer piece. I, I was considering reading my Sistina. I have one. I've written one Sistina in my life, but I, I what's really what does that mean? Oh, a Sistina is a, a poetic form where it's six stanzas. Each stanza is six lines. Okay, let's get into it. Line rotates it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I have another one that's that's sexier. Okay. So. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Um, mm. I'll go to the. I'll go with the Sistina. I think All right. Sistina. Now it's not similar energy to what mm. we've been enjoying tonight. So, just so you know, as long as it's sexy, we good. It's about. Um, oh, you said as long as it's sexy. Erotic. That's the night. Okay. Well, then let me go with this other one. We won't be reading the Sistina tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Go with your intuition, mind you. I invite you to. I'm, I'm going to keep on. I'm going to keep on, Brand. All right. Ooh. All right. This is um, for the women I knew before the poet I am. For the women I knew before the poet I am. It's in eight parts. They're short parts. And really quickly. Oh, you ask. You might ask. Part one. Despite iambic pulse of youth we bloomed, sudden and sticky, a kiss, all honeysuckle tar once made a morgue of midnight. The hour decomposed the full seven days before I grew mouth enough to swallow back a bouncing red word, dangled from just outside the average length of all the body's bones laid end on end. Was I the last boy you loved before knowing the delicate of another woman? Mm. Two, another woman gathered up, pursed lips under the crisp of our own sky, black and sparkling against the warm of you, a familiar place your husband would never know. Mm. Three, I'll never know how that night came to be, how my legs carried me bold to us. <laughs> How the ceiling and sheets traded candle flicker for thin piped music. How you spread warm quick, disrobed before quick shower closed the door too quick to know whether it secured you quick within. And I, new to any such slippery dance, thought this somehow an invitation, pushed ever so slight into the sterile light beyond. Mm. Four, a light Beyond honor is a gentle dimming, a bird named in tailspin descent, trailing towards unhinged, eager, gaping jaws below. Five, below your angled jaw and stern chin, we found a clementine courting nestled in the tender of you, kept careful beneath a rotting rind. We peeled away without ever thinking of how to avoid crafting it back together over the course of time, grown again, whole and unyielding. Six, a yielding unmade, a promise, a lie, a word, a man, a twinned breaking, a lie, a lie, a lust, mm. a leavening, a friend, just a friend, boy, a stolen love, 
a lovely dead, a cost, a lie, a loan repaid. Seven, you lie alone, wonder what was made if no child, what in labor does rumor bear? Can a ghost conceived of sin be gifted holy flesh in memoriam? What then is to be made of us, of children and laughing lovers? Can atrophy mouth speak love again or at all? Eight, Devon, at all. Wow. How do you feel with experiencing and sharing that piece that you wrote right now? I enjoy reading that one um, for, for a couple of reasons. One, well, three reasons. One, I enjoy the craft of writing poetry, period. Um, so I know what's going into it as I'm reading it. I'm wondering, or second reason is I'm wondering what people are catching, what's resonating with the listeners, you know? I know there are certain lines that people are still probably dwelling on. Did he say that? Husband would never know. You know, people are wondering what's happened. But are you married? Part. I'm sorry, am I married? I'm not. Okay, I'm this is just no. clarifying according to what you're saying. Okay. No, and so there was a, there was a story behind that. Um, I know it sounds like I was with a married woman, but in that poem, the, that woman, that, that section describes um, the woman who became my girlfriend Mm -hmm. uh, and that's the moment we got together. And then years later, she married a friend of mine. And oh. um, she, she and her family kept coming back to me and saying she should be with you. Um, mm -hmm. They don't have the chemistry. So it's not it's not about I was with her when she was married. It's about um, he did not have the experience of that moment in, in, as, in, from her perspective. Um, and then the uh, the last reason is it's interesting going back and kind of reflecting on these moments, you know, especially once if they were if there were negative moments and they hurt at the time, um, you know, having healed now and going back and thinking about mm -hmm. the way things transpired, my main my main perspective, my main goal through any experience is to learn something that I can mm -hmm. take moving mm -hmm. forward. So in each of these situations, um, I learned something and hopefully grew and became a better person for it. That's such a nice reflective feedback from you. So gentleman-like. Thank you. Interesting. Okay. Ladies, he's not married. Did you hear that? I don't hook myself up, I can hook you up. <laughs> not listening, this is a side note. Okay? Okay. Anyway. All right. It's a Thank lovely hat, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. Thank you so much for gracing us. That was lovely. Absolutely. Peace and love. Stick around. I don't know who wants to come next, if anyone's coming next, but... Stick around until the very end. I appreciate and salute you. Peace and love. Namaste. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I'm to get out of here. I don't have an X. <laughs> <laughs> there might be an X on the left or the right. All right. Bye. Bye. Guys, isn't he cute? <laughs> So is there anyone else that would like to join the live that hasn't had a turn? Please stand up. Now is the time before I end the live. We are going to unfold real slowly for tonight and end this live. I must say, I've had an amazing time. I really have had an amazing time. It's been centrally, sexually, erotically, um, reflectively evoking. Um, I love each and every one of you. There's different forms of sexuality. That's the whole point of what we need to recognize here. Different forms of sensual, seductive, erotic sensuality. And um, those who do not want to express themselves through generic expression and communication will do it through art. And that's why I want to do, that's why I want I 
would like to do tonight and um, take this moment to introduce art form in expression as opposed to generic communication. Yeah. So tell me, guys, how are you feeling about tonight? Are you as turned up as I am? What am I drinking? Spice rum. Am I feeling it? Yes. <laughs> it's halfway or more than halfway through the night. Whew. Mm. Mm. I'm having an amazing night. Is there anyone that hasn't had the turn? Is there anyone that had the turn that wants to return and talk about poetry, expression, writing, individuality? Let me know. Um, am I seeing Sandy that wants to come back? I don't know. Sandy, confirm for me, please. Do you want to return? and express something in regards to poetry. Um, let me know your thoughts. Let me see. Um, wait, Miss Wilson, seriously. <laughs> Miss Wilson, is Mrs. Wilson, wait, Miss Wilson wants to come in? No way, let me see. I'm gonna be so happy if she comes in. If Miss Wilson comes in this live, I'm going to be excited. Miss Wilson, where are you? I'm ready. Kenneth? Yeah? All right. Bear with me for two seconds. Miss Wilson, if you don't come in, it means I made an error. I'm sorry. I thought you wanted to come in the live and share something or an opinion about the, tonight's live. Maybe you want to come in and ex experience an opinion and express an opinion. Does it have to be a poem about tonight's live? Maybe not. Um, Miss Wilson says no. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Um, who wanted to say they watched on the live? Pull me up. Where are you? Where are you? Let's see. Um, let me see. Um, guys? Mr. Silent? No. Maybe Mr. Silent wants to come back. You guys have got me on here tonight forever. It's amazing. Let's see. I'm lit. Yay. Hi. Yay. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm great. I'm happy I'm on here. I'm oh, that's here. amazing. Who are you? Yeah, I was waiting forever, but now I'm here. I'm, I'm sorry. Happy. What's your name? Well, my friends call me Spoke. Uh, I actually performed with Huggy Bear, the poet, before. Oh, wow. So I, yeah, I've seen, wow. I saw him on here. Actually, put your name down right now. Hi, Spoke. Welcome. Thank you so much for your presence. I'm sorry it took so long to get on. I didn't expect oh, right. to be a no, bit, but I'm it. It and I'm loving it. What do you want to share with us tonight? All right, so this one is called Not Too Fast. <clears throat> okay. So she pled, not too fast. Baby, slow down. Look, I don't want to be low down, but I just met you two hours ago. Are we already at your crib? I mean, you saying you want me to be your rib, but I doubt I can stomach that. And with no protection, I might have to stomach some of that baby fat. And look, I'm not the kind of lady that plants the seed with no soil. I mean, my water won't break, though it boils for you. Like, what, you want me in labor? Must think my spoils for you? Like, what do you see in me that a mirror can't capture? One night stand could be a one night disaster. And I admit, I was overtaken by your shining cutlets and your confidence fulfilling your outfit was like a master of disguise with your hands on my thighs yes i know the feeling but i can tell your potential has a ceiling while i'm grounded in moderation i used to think these moments were outdated but now i'm just intimidated in sexual frustration i'm weak for once strangely at peace for once i'm swept off my feet for once for something else besides me for once so before I crash, I need you fast. Can we do that? And I'll meet you back where I seen you last in your ski mask, where you killed me softly, strumming my pain, tuning me insane as your fingers run down my body like rain. I've never been so moist. I'm losing my voice and my goals. I'm losing control. I can't follow my task, though I feel free at last. I'm close to the edge. I got a splash so you can flow through me. I'm about to blast, and you're racing through my body, nigga. I can't take it. Not too fast. <laughs> oh what inspired you to write that piece uh I, I always like to write from like another person's perspective that's when i wrote like years ago like a while ago um 
Yeah, I don't know. It was it was just something that I decided to do. Like it was like a challenge. So I was like, okay, let me try to write from a woman's perspective. You know. Oh, what perspective. part of America? Where are you in the world? Uh, I, I'm from Tennessee, uh, southern south. Uh, so that's where I that's where I'm based at. Um, Lovely. How did you hear about tonight's live? Uh, I found well. I mean, I found out about it because I saw Huggy Bear get on it, and you know, I, you know, I'm. I, I uh, I've worked with him before, so like I, I get notifications. Right now. <laughs> yeah. So. Thank you so much. Do you have a second piece, or is that what you like to share with us for tonight? Yeah, I could do one more. I could do one more. Please, Grace. Grace, that would be lovely. All right. Okay, this one's fun. So, uh, you thinking what I'm thinking? I don't Girl, know. I keep telling you I miss you, but fuck that. Bet I wouldn't come and see your ass tonight. Bet I wouldn't make you bend that ass just right after some petty ass fight, but how I steady at like you bore me. So you tried to play the same game and ignore me. Like you don't hear my lips two inches away from your ear, telling you all the things you act like you don't want to hear, but I know you want me here. So, oh yes, be clear. You ain't got to act like you on shore. I mean, you didn't have to answer the door when I popped up. So I guess some boots about to get knocked up. I mean, I ain't afraid to say you was right and I'm wrong. Like, what, you need me to write this in a poem? Or maybe I should come off the top of the dome about how I'm trying to make you come off some top from this dome? I mean, signal me home. You know what I'm on. But what's really real is that you know that we both grown. So shut the fuck up and let me get in my zone. I mean, I'm trying to take you in a different time zone, play a different type of mind game so you can blow my mind after I leave your mind blown. What is this? sapiosexual intercourse for the art of mind control see this be the art of planting seeds through your head with this fertilizer i mean if y'all can't tell by now i'm just trying to fertilize her i mean fucking your mind is just a watered down scheme of my grand concussion i'm trying to leave you with a question or a fuss stop thinking just bust i mean it's just us at the end of the day so before the night's over bring that ass right over i mean Fuck, I forgot what the rest was. Damn. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that like was anything. it. I, I forgot how everything goes. That I was know. nice. Forget about forgetting the words. I love authenticity. I really do. But that means giving me half a poem, a whole poem, the bridge, the chorus, the whole orchestra. I love it all. And remind us of your name. M say that again. Remind us of your name. Oh, yeah. My, my friends call me Spoke short for spoke in dash words because I speak to my niggas spoke in words so oh yeah. thank you so much <laughs> all the way to the state side that's amazing what inspired you to write these two pieces was it reality or just fantasy um so the last one was definitely more reality like mm -hmm. um you know because you like I, I met a woman and of course it's like you know, when it's young, you play a lot of mind games. So it's like you kind of got to, you know, cut through that shit, really. So that's kind of uh, what that one was inspired off of, for sure. Like, you know, just, you know, the mind games people play and the different, you know, psychological tricks people do or try to do. You know, so it was a good, it was a good base to start from. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you so much for gracing us with your presence, with your art. I appreciate you for jumping on the live. It takes courage to do so. Um, we'll stick around for a moment. I don't know how many more people want to jump on before I close the live, but thank you so much. And feel free to exit the live on your left or your right. I don't know. <laughs> Guys, tonight has been so very unexpected. It's been amazing. I've had such an amazing time literally you guys have blown me away thank you so much for gracing me with your presence is there anyone else that would like to return or come back as a new artist before i unfold and close this life it's gone on a lot longer than i anticipated and i'm very grateful peace and love is there anyone i'll give you a moment in the meanwhile i'll add some hearts in the comments box Oh, that's amazing. Tonight has been so um, diverse from erotica to sensuality to humor and Caribbean poetry. 
Um, I've had a great time, literally a great freaking time. Is there anyone else that hasn't been on yet? If so, for your hearts up, I'd press the pink banner. We'll make it happen before we close. Thanks for the love. Is there anyone else that has been on, that has been on already, that wants to return and talk about poetry, art, and whatever else, writing, perhaps? Or share a very last poem, let me know before I close the live as it's getting to that stage. Um, I'd like to take the time to thank you so much for indulging in free-flowing thoughts. Again, I say I usually do uh, Chit Chat with Silva and strategic interviews on this page. This page is not a poetry page, disclaimer, but I, I believe that people want to express themselves through different forms of art form, and poetry is one of them as a poetic writer myself. So for you guys that has joined tonight and told a friend to told a friend and has promoted this live, I love you, respect you. Salute to um, Fernando Taylor, otherwise known as Freak Nada, for sharing the love, for promoting this live, for taking part. Fernando, if you have one more piece to close the live, let us know what's good. Thank you so much for each and every one of you. Sandy, I love you. Thank you so much for um, encouraging and being support a supporter of this page. Anne-Marie, thank you for the love. <laughs> yeah, it's been great, right? It's been great. It's been different. Is there anyone on the live that wants to close this live? Come in now or forever hold your peace because I'm about to close this live. It's been fire in the freaking booth. Let me add some flames. Seriously. Whoo, I've loved it so much. Tonight I'm drinking some spice rum. Mm. Am I lit? Of course. <laughs> of course. Who's trying to come in on the live? Is it Sandy or is it Miss Sexy? I don't know. Let's go with Sandy first. Wow. Let's see what's good. I've added Sandy. I've gone looking for you. Hi, Sandy. Hi. I thought, okay, there was some guy, somebody named Keith. So I thought I was ready. Let's, right now, we're going to wind down and close the live very slowly as we unfold. So, okay. Sandy, what is your very last piece of the night? Great. Oh, um, I don't know if I want to do a piece, but maybe... Okay, the only thing I'm going to do that I can remember off the top of my head is a fantasy piece. So... Oh, wait, wait, hang on. Disclaimer. Did you want to discuss something as opposed to perform? Feel free. Yeah, I think kind of... I, what I'd rather do... I, maybe it might, what I might rather do is discuss something because... I think the night was really, really good. I loved it. It's amazing. I'm so grateful to you. <laughs> I, 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 thank you so much. I'm so, you know, I'm actually so humble. I've never been humbled in my life, but I'm humbled <laughs> <laughs> for what you turned around and said. And uh, one minute, sorry, I've got to sit down a bit more comfortably. I've had an amazing <laughs> night. Seriously, yeah, I guys. Did. I had an amazing night. I, you know what? I got hot. I got wet. I got, <laughs> turned, on, I got turned on. I got turned up. I had to drink my water to calm my ass down. <laughs> you know, oh my days. I think um, I will say something. And if they're listening, it's, don't take it in the wrong way because it's not in the wrong way. But sometimes I've heard people say, we're going to do a short piece. And when I say they're going to do a short piece, sometimes a short piece, well, I think is a short piece. Is not necessarily their short piece. <laughs> it goes, you know, I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. It's like, I do, I do. <laughs> Sorry, that just something just dropped. Don't worry about that. But, um, Sandy, what would you have to share with us tonight before you unwind it as I <coughs> close the library slowly? Let us um, know. I had a really good night. Like, what I, all I can say to you is, like I said, I got hot, I got wet, I got cooled down. Um, I had a really good time. Sorry. I had a really good time with. Every, most, mo, every, everybody that was on tonight, I had such good time. Um, I'll be honest, um, I was not feeling that great before I came on, but after listening, I got lit up, I got, I got in the zone, I was like, okay, I'm ready to go. So yeah, it was a really, really good night. 
Oh, um, thank you, Sandy. Really Sandy, night. what would you have to share with us before you leave the live tonight? Before I close, <laughs> what would you um, like to share? The thing I would turn around and say to anybody right about now, especially as it's an erotic night that we're talking about, I am wishing you sweet dreams. Mm. But if you can't, if they cannot be sweet, please let them be sexy, sensual, and erotic. Yeah, that's all I would say. You know, mm. um, just let them be sexy, sensual, and erotic. And um, I've enjoyed, I uh, believe you me, I've enjoyed my night. I'm going to go and cool down, go and take a cold shower. <laughs> Had an amazing night. You guys have made my evening, really. Each and every one it of you. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. It was, yeah. Uh, I, if, if you guys didn't get it, I'm telling you this as an observer, as a participant, it was beautiful. It was, like, uh, yeah. It was, let, me just say, let me just say this one other thing. Mm -hmm. It was almost like I just wanted to keep joining in because it was so beautiful. It was such a beautiful night. A hundred percent. And even though we're in lockdown, the beautiful thing about lockdown is that we are able to reach out to our brothers and sisters across continents and we can all be on one night. Because mm -hmm. if we were doing this in London, in England, where you and I are, this not this would not have happened. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I think people need to understand that. This would not have happened. Yeah. That you could have had people from America, from England, England wherever, or wherever they are. And I kind of get now where people will turn around and say, oh, it's a bit too early for this. Well, it's not too early for us in England. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's yes. like past, past the curfew time. So um, we're in lockdown and it's not, it's, not a, it's not a great thing. But mm. sometimes we have to take from the negative the beauty of it. And the beauty of this night was we were able to interact continentally and, and you know what i mean and if we were doing this on a live platform we would not have had fernando we would not have had hoggy we have we would not have had um mr ali lord jesus christ give me jesus take the world you see yeah, yeah. okay yeah you know i i can't i can't express how much i think it was a beautiful thing because we were able to internet interact mm -hmm. continentally yeah. across across oceans yeah so this lockdown is a bad it's not a nice thing that we're liking but you have to take the you have to take the positive out of this negative that we're in yeah. and that's what i'm saying it mm -hmm. was a beautiful thing it was a beautiful thing i really enjoyed it, it was really nice i really enjoyed it i loved that's it i really lovely. enjoyed it some people had me speechless Run into my freezer, open it up, and cool my ass down. <laughs> yeah. Like one of them ones. Well, I'm about to wind down yeah. the live. Mm. So all whilst right, we like to wind down the live, is there anything at all that you would like to share, Sandy? AKA Open Minds, poetess, writer. Okay. Yeah. Open your minds. Tonight was about opening your minds and listening. And like I always say, there is an exit button. If you're not ready for that, you can leave. Yes. All right? We are not for the faint-hearted. We do not wish to offend. We are not for the right. close-minded. We do, do... You know who you are, so don't act and pretend. We are artists, and our only desire is to please. However, if you're approved and you don't like us, there is an exit button. You can leave. I... Our words are not intended to be nasty, though sometimes crude understand that we're only expressing and we do not mean to be rude mm. but now you know who we are we are ready to start we respectfully ask you to sit back be quiet and we only hope that you can appreciate the art that free flowing force brought on tonight's show okay oh, that's all i've got to say <laughs> oh you understand that's all i've got to say <laughs> Yeah, that's lovely. <laughs> a master means the divine in me appreciates the divine in you. 
Yeah. <laughs> Thank exactly. you. Thank you so much. You know, you don't, don't know how much I love you too, girl. Believe that Oh, shit. thank Believe you, Sandy. Honestly, I absolutely <laughs> salute you because you rescue me all the time. <laughs> well, you rescue you me more. A woman. I always tell you you're a beautiful woman. It's important. I think that we are so free of negativity. Yeah. I think we are free positivity. And Sandy here is such a beautiful woman in so many different ways. So I like to publicly give her that announcement. And uh, yeah, tonight has been amazing. Amazing. Um, Silver, I'm going to uh, free flowing thoughts. I'm going to say something because I did mention it. And there's a guy, uh, uh, somebody called Keith that wants to join. So okay. I think he, um, Keith, wonderful, Keith, if you're listening, just say yes right now. Okay. If you're listening, one of the things you have to do sometimes, which I have to do is sometimes you have to come out and go back in and then press the join to join in again. So, okay. so if you're willing to do that, do that because we're willing we're, we're so open I, I um i i think are you willing to hear him yeah been, thank you so yeah, much because i, I actually you. said it on my post keith wants to come in so, thank you sandy keith, i appreciate you, you want to come in come in come keith, in keith, where are you we're waiting um, for you well, keith. Keith. we're waiting for you keith we're waiting to listen for you so come in and um we will listen to you this isn't you know um, this is what is about Keith Eric. Uh, I think it is at Fernando. Hey, Keith Eric. Being well, Sandy. Yeah. In that case, thank you so much for gracing us with your presence. Please feel free to exit the live. Let's just Thank you and so Keith. much for having me. Thank you so oh, much. Oh, oh and Fernando and Hug and Huggy. Oh my goodness! Listen, Lord Jesus. You know what? Anyway, I got nothing more to say. I'm getting off. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll take a shower. <laughs> Sandy, on, you are a beautiful creature. I always tell you this, so you know it's not fronting. Thank you so much, Sandy. Peace and love. Um, Keith, if you're present, let me know what's good. I'll invite you into the live before winding down and unfolding slowly. Um, Keith, 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 where are you? Let us know what's good. Are you still here? Share your poetry, your art with us, your sensuality, your erotica, your seduction with us. I'll appreciate it. Guys, for, for the rest of you, let me know how you feel about tonight. I've had an amazing time. I'm about to close down the live very slowly. So if you've not had your turn, now is the time to jump, real, to jump in real quick and let me know your thoughts. Is there anyone else that wants to come in and close the live? Even if you've been here before or done your live tonight already, please feel free to come in and close your live. You are welcome. There is absolutely no restrictions. I've had a freaking amazing time. I hope you have. Peace and love, everyone. I'll give you a couple of minutes. I think I should drink some water to balance out the spice rum. Shit. Mmm. Tonight has been so lovely. Let's get into it. Happy Friday, you beautiful souls. Thank you for supporting and um, encouraging my life. Tell a friend to tell a friend. If you're new to this live, please, you know what to do. Press that follow button. Tonight so far for me has been entertaining. Um, it's been sexual, seduction, sexy, erotic. It's been different genres of, of sexuality. I appreciate you literally all. Cheers. I'm drinking spice rum and apple juice. What are you drinking? How are you feeling? Tell me your thoughts in the comments box. I'm about to close this live very soon in the next few minutes if nobody else comes on. Mmm. Oh, this is nice. Mmm. Mmm. Guys, let's put on some glasses. Let's see what you're saying. 2020 vision. Uh, Fernanda says, flush the throat. What? <laughs> Fernanda says, um, at Keith, um, 
not sure why you're not working for us. Um, Sexy says the request ain't going through. So that means, Sexy, do you want to close the live for us? Let's see what's good. Girl, I am so lit right now. It's amazing. Miss Sexy, Miss Wilson says cheers. Hi, Miss Sexy. How are you? Return. I'm How good. are you? I was actually trying to get your attention to pull in Keith Eric because he's trying to get in. I can't see him. I'm so sorry, Keith. Yeah. I hope it's not on my side. Our Instagram's been doing its own thing. But guess what? Let's get into it. I'm about to close the live very slowly. So, Miss Sexy, get into it. What do you have for us to close the live? Um... Actually, hold on one second. Uh, if I go off of this screen, it's just so that I can uh, pull up a piece. Okay. All right, so you might not see me, but you'll hear me. I'm actually okay. to read a piece that is a um, response piece to Keith Eric that's trying to join. Um, you know him? I, I do. Yeah, I do. Um, he's a great poet. He has a show that he hosts here in the United States every other Friday. Oh, wow. And um, all the poets that's online are in invited. Um, it's the Renaissance Poetry Show. I'm just going to plug in. It's the Renaissance amazing, Poetry Amazing, amazing. Go with it. Write this number down. It's 319. Someone write this number in the comments. 319-527-6300. Um, it's every other Friday, so the next Friday will be approximately uh, this week coming up or the following week after that. I'm not sure, but look for it um, under Keith Eric. It airs at 10 p.m. Eastern uh, in the United States, so you have to convert that to UK time. But since he can't get in, I'm going to do a tribute piece to him, if that's okay. Oh, that's amazing. Let's go. Okay. You're buffering a little bit. Let's see. Hopefully not. Yeah. Hold on one second. Let me find his piece. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he says that it's next Friday, so. Um, all right. Hold on one second here. Bear with me, please. Let's see. Are you still able to hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. All right. Trying to pull okay. it up here. That's okay. Take your time. All right. Ooh. You're buffering just a little bit. Miss Sexy, come back to us. You're buffering. Oh, my goodness. Miss Sexy, are you there? Oh, she's buffering. No, no, no. Please don't. Okay, we have just suddenly lost Miss Sexy. Miss Sexy, please feel free to return to life. You are... Just had a bit of buffering and we lost you, but there's time. Ooh. Guys, in the meanwhile, how are you feeling about the lives? Show me in regards to your emojis how you feel about the life tonight. I've had an amazing time. Literally, regardless of what you think, I've had an amazing time. So if you agree and you've had a good time, send me some hearts. Send me some love, send me some encouragement. This page is primarily interviews and chit chat with Silver. Um, I have generically usually live talks about life, trauma, spirituality, sexuality. But I thought I would just introduce a little bit of art. Um, I'm thinking in the next few weeks, two, three weeks, I'll, I'll introduce some um, live bands, some music, purely musicians. 
um, I think that not everyone in um, not everyone expresses themselves through art um, in terms of communication. Some express themselves through art, poetry, storytelling, photography, and I'd like to be the person that encourages you to um, express yourself in a different form. So every now and then, every now and then. I would like to um, introduce a totally different night where you can express yourself through a totally different form. Um, I'm loving tonight. <laughs> I'm loving it. I'm so loving it. Um, Miss Sexy, please um, come back. Where are you? I've just invited you back in. Before I, here we go. I'm you ready. Say, are you there? I'm here. Okay, I'm not sure what happened there. I need to run to little girl's room, but in the meanwhile, please give me what you got before I do that. Okay. Okay. So like I said, this is a, a piece that was written in response to um, one of Keith Eric's poems out of his book. So this is the... Uh, power cosmic mental orgasms move him like an avalanche moving at an iceberg's pace my mind is the place for which he's competing for space our galaxies won't collide here no one is even touching him or even near light travels at the speed of his tongue during galactic foray i see stars in the bright of day he understands my mind has traversed its infinite design rides my synapses to mental planets not yet defined. This is his familiar space. He calls me his home. I give him a galaxy corner of peace that he knows is all his own. Our reciprocal tendencies excel his asking. I'm basking in the heat that burns in me. My solar system he controls orgasmically. I'm fashioned after his passion. My earth recreated by asteroid reaction. I'm gripping what is mine. I hold everlasting as I reign supreme in his mind. Old planets rant as they discover they are fallen stars. Mm -hmm. I am the moon goddess, Mawu, and to me answer even Venus and Mars. I make all the orgasms that I take from he, and in every dimension, even there, his vast regions of existence belong to she. Exquisite are our minds when we sell on this plane the outside reality, another existence to claim. Cosmic orgasms to which we both bear witness is the birthplace of creation. Our mental manifestation is oh so serious. In peace, that is Power Cosmic, the CK edition in response to Cosmic Power, the Keith Eric edition. Wow. Thank you so much for sharing that. It's very central piece. Thank you. Um, Miss Sexy, thank you for returning back on the part two um, and sharing your light with us. Peace and love. We appreciate you. Guys, we're going to take time to actually unwind the live and close it very slowly. It's gone a lot longer than I thought it would. I'm very, very grateful. Oh, Miss Sexy has gone. Thank you so much for gracing us with your presence tonight. Tonight's poetry has been amazing. If you agree, Send some hearts, send some hearts. Are you feeling a little bit lit? It's Friday, why not? <laughs> Next week we'll be back to usual chit chat and interviews with Silver. Um, and we will organize something very similar very soon. Peace and love. Thank you for joining us tonight and gracing us with your art. I love you. Namaste. Good night.